O-rings are one of the most common types of seals on the planet. They can be found in virtually every industry and application. They are essential to everyday life. When trying to determine the size of an O-ring, first check any associated manuals to assess whether the size is listed. If there is no manual, there are two common methods we will discuss regarding how to measure the size of an O-ring. The first method we will talk about today is a caliper. These can measure both AS568 and metric sized O-rings. For simplicity, we will be speaking to the AS568 standard today. The O-ring size is defined by the ID and the cross section of the ring. To measure ID, Gallagher recommends measuring on a flat surface. To ensure you receive an accurate reading, do not clamp onto the O-ring, making sure you don't stretch or compress it. First, measure the ID of the O-ring by placing the smaller jaws on the inside. Don't stretch the O-ring as this will give an inaccurate reading. To measure the cross section, take your large jaws and lightly clamp the O-ring along the cross section. Another method to find the size of an O-ring is an O-ring cone. This will allow you to quickly find your O-ring size. Use the notches at the bottom of the cone to determine the cross section of the O-ring. The O-ring should not be loose in the notch. Once you have determined the cross section, use the corresponding side of the cone to determine the size of the O-ring. Place the O-ring onto the cone and let it engage on a flat section of the cone. It should be engaged 360 degrees around the cone. It should not be loose or stretched. The size will appear under the O-ring on the flat section that the ring is engaged. Thanks for watching our video on how to measure an O-ring. Please reach out to a GFS application engineer with any questions or O-ring issues you may be facing. If you're looking to purchase O-rings, Gallagher Fluid Seals maintains a large inventory of O-rings on our e-commerce store. Visit www.gallagherseals.com to shop for NBR, FKM, FFKM, EPDM, and more.